right. Get him out of here. Tyler, what did you do? He's gone. He's just... gone. I know. But you... Shut up. Just take her body in the back. Hey, wanna sleep a little, kiddo? I'm not tired. She saw everything, you know. Dale, what they did to Joyce. Believe me, I know. God, what am I gonna tell Ash? Poor kid. Hey. You were out there. You knew what was gonna happen, didn't you? No, of course not. He was my baby brother. I was there the day he was born. At least he went out fighting. Joyce, you executed her. You want the awful truth? Life is war. People die. And it's not up to them when it happens. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been... kind of a messy night. Still, if you want them out... You let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sheriff! Better not make me regret this. <sighs> Fuck me. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Ma? Why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? Oh, God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. Sharon, I'm... I'm so sorry. How did it happen? Romero... drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just... lured him out there like... like an animal? Got something to say? Nope. Go on. You think my deal had a cup? Don't you?
No one deserves to die. Not like that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. In trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. And he was out there when Dale took the bullet. Says he didn't know, but... Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. And now Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family? I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants some book he thinks you stole. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Just hold on now. Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? I've seen a lot tonight, and I think despite everything, your sons are good people caught in a bad situation. Well, you're not wrong. Us holds draw the short end of the stick way more than chance should allow. But tonight, we'll change that. Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. Okay? Yeah. Oh, it's nothing. I'll be fine. That is, if your big gamble pays off. Wasn't it hot enough for you in the frying pan? We were gonna lay low here until Romero got bored of chasing his own tail. Next thing we knew, half the sheriff's department was outside. And what's the backup plan? You said Dante called you out to talk about a helicopter? I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So, if you have any ideas... Why'd you let me talk you into Route 66? We could have gone through Utah. Nothing but Mormons and Southlands. Daddy. Hey, pumpkin. Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? The opposite, actually. I feel safe, because I'm with you. Okay. Then I'll keep protecting you. <sighs> Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's... Just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. 
And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, or it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. We replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Timber you got there. Uh... Ain't hardwood. So you saying you got soft wood? Yeah, I think. Hear that, Tyler? He can't get it up. <laughs> what? Walk right into that one. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> should have known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh, hey, wanna get high? Nah, still got some shit to unload. So, sure. <laughs> Whoa! Don't let go. Don't let go. disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys! I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <laughs> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside.
When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. God's name, are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Mm. Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. You don't have to cover for your daddy. Uh... I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. some business acquaintances of your father's. <sighs> ah, that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I have been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? Depends on who you are and what you want. My name is Mr. Thorne. I represent an organization that has a financial agreement with your father. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? No. <laughs> Please, I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. Hmm. Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for, if your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. What exactly are we talking about? Let me put it this way. The men who come after me, instead of lighting cigars, they'll be loading their guns. Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It... it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father. 
Always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Gay! Forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. He tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces, like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. Sheds in the back? Yeah. Away from the road. <laughs> no fear. Gonna be awesome. Me turning off the lights. Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. $8,000. There's hundreds of these. 
What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. You're not messed up, though. You seem like a good kid. How would you know? You're sensitive, you're smart, you know right from wrong. Ain't that smart. I'm going to jail after this. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? I don't know. I guess I was scared of failing. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure. To Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you. Drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Just can't believe you wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. Hmm. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Shouldn't be much longer now. How you doing? About Michelle. Worried, I guess. She'll be all right. She's at a hospital now. They'll know what to do. You know... I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging me to take that pet food job. Hmm. But she was just trying to help me move on. You've had a rough year, Vince. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? I'm gonna do it. Sign the gag order, take the money. All that matters now is I'm there for Zoe and Michelle. Can't say I blame you after tonight. Having a nest egg, it's a smart move. I guess that bus will be here any minute. Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Ah. 
Jesus. Okay, look. My cancer. It's not as bad as I made it out. In fact, it... Uh, it doesn't exist. I made it up. What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed. And suddenly, I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left except you. But after everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vance. It came from a good place. You did all that? Just so I'd accept you in my life again? Would you have, otherwise? Probably not. And what about now, son? Can you give me another chance? Look, you're my dad. For better or for worse. And if you'd asked yesterday, I would have said no. But after tonight... I know I'm a lousy person. People can change, Dad. Just promise you'll never lie to me again. You have my word. On your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <laughs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more.
She's just angry, Pa. I've done plenty to earn it. She's bat fired me since the day I... Well, it ain't been good in a long time. Turn off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave them the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. Anything? Nothing. Mm. Uh, ain't much, but it's better than nothing. He had a family. So do I. Didn't stop him coming after me. <laughs> pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your mall. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. You want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. 
Now listen, when I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Yep, I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. Please. Oh, oh shit. We gotta cover him up before he. Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. Look like you need it. Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. What I ask you to do tonight, son, what you did wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. I, I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. He was right, wasn't he? Those people he worked for, they'll come for us. It's me they'll come for. But I won't give them the satisfaction. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up.
Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance. It'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. My pa, I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now, should have let him swing. They gave us a week to settle the debt. After that, they'll come for the house, the trucks, and then us. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. That old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. Support. Mark, it's over. We can't win. Dear God, please let this work. Mom, what are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! You okay? I'm fine. Keep going. We're not safe yet. Daddy, I, I can't breathe. Oh, that's not good. We need to get out, now. Jump. It's too high. I'll get hurt. How about Grandpa goes first, okay? Uh. Uh. See you down there, Squirt. 
Grab my hands. Here we go. I'm gonna lower you down nice and slow, okay? You'll be... Oh, crap. Grandpa's just outside. We'll all be together again. Really soon. You promise? I do. Come on, kiddo. your mind that stunt with the bus you're supposed to protect people and you were supposed to do what I asked the hopes <laughs> then nothing Vince this town doesn't run without me even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how and why that book could bring down a lot of people myself included so I gotta ask did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. Well, the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> Think you're going. 
I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello there. Where's my daddy? Want to go for a ride, Donna? Let her go. I don't think so. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. Let her go. I'm not gonna ask again. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Not until they let Zoe go. I told you, we can't do that. Please, just put it down. You are not taking her. I'm not letting it happen. Then shoot him, Jay. Do it. I said my part. I don't want to lose you. Life. You want. I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Daddy! Zoe! Deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now. Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway.
He was the person he wanted to be. And this is where it got us. <laughs> Hey, it's okay. You don't gotta cry. This isn't my car. Mine's a red SUV. The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. seconds of peace, then instinct takes over.